What is up, YouTube? So this is a very highly requested video that I've been getting a lot lately. Obviously, turkey season and hunting season is upon us. Face painting. Face painting 101. Cool ideas. Why do we do it? All the fun stuff. So let's get in. Why is face paint important? Obviously, the point of face paint, other than to look really cute, is to break your face up. So, you know, you've got a big white blob right here and if you are blind hunting or if you're sitting down at a tree or if you're spot and stalking in a tree stand this is very white even if you're tan it's still just a big blob of color that an animal will spot so that's the point of face paint is to break your face up and look cute so <laughs> that's kind of the point of the video um i know there's a lot of old school hunters out there who are gonna say oh face paint just smear it all over and and go that's fine that is fine to do i'm not saying that you have to sit there for five minutes and intricately do your face paint every single time you go out to hunt that's not what i'm saying if you like just smearing it on there and going smear it on and go you do you i like to look cute i know a lot of women out there like to look cute and fun designs are fun who cares if you still kill the animal what does it matter if it looks smudged or if it's super neat and fun designs so Obviously the point point of face paint is to break your face up. So if you're in a blind, obviously you just want to use all black. If you're, like I said, in a tree stand, spot and stalk, sitting on the ground, any other scenario outside of sitting in a blind, you can use all the colors. And that brings me to my next point. <laughs> so we've tried a lot of face paint out there. Um, this certainly isn't a, you know, an ad for Hardy or anything like that. We just really enjoy Hardy face paint. Um, it's very easy to apply. It's got a really easy applicator like so so you don't get it all over your fingers and you can just it's like mascara um so it's just very easy to draw it on there like you'll see in a few minutes and it comes off super easy so i'm gonna do one two three different um looks i would like watch like all these makeup things and they're all like this is my look so i'm gonna do three looks for you guys today and you'll see it'll be in real time so you'll see how easy the face paint is to come off with just the wipes or water paper towel soap whatever the case may be but it stays on really nice it's got like a nice latex feel to it so it stretches with your face um even if you sweat it doesn't come off it only comes off when you apply the pressure with either the soap water paper towel wipe whatever the case may be obviously in an ideal world a face mask would be the best case scenario for covering and breaking up your face sometimes that's just not an option whether it's too hot whether you are a bow hunter and you need to feel your kisser button or you need to feel the string on the corner of your mouth sometimes it's just not it's just not in the cards so face paint is going to be the best option and the same goes for gloves as well in an ideal world you would wear gloves black camo whatever the case may be sometimes it's too hot um sometimes like especially in the summer and in the early fall i'll just paint my hands i am way more accurate that way i can feel my bow i can feel my release i don't have that glove in the way um even when i'm filming sometimes i would just paint my hands so i can feel the zoom all that so it's just whatever fits you and whatever makes you the most confident in any scenario so Three looks, <laughs> I'm so fun. Three looks that we're going to do today. One for the blind and then two different ones for tree stand hunting um, or just outside of the blind. And if you need like face paint ideas or anything like that, sometimes I will look up like Native American, like different like meanings of face paint or tribal face paint. There's a lot of fun ideas online that aren't necessarily hunting related, but there's a lot of cultures that um, use face paint to symbolize different things. So it's kind of cool to just look at like like warrior face paint or hunter face paint or archer face paint. So those ideas are on there as well. Um, if you do like this video and you do any of these looks, definitely tag us on Instagram, comment below. Um, if there's anything more that you guys would like to see. So my three looks. And what's nice about Hardy, um, so sometimes in the blind, like if I don't want to wake up early, I will just do my face paint in the blind and I'll just flip my phone so I'll just flip it and then sit there and just do it um this stuff's super easy and you only need one hand which is really nice so I'll just sit there and like do my face paint um so I'm gonna put the phone up here that way I have like a mirror obviously I don't have a mirror outside <laughs> balance okay cool so the first one I'm going to do is the one that kind of sparked a lot of people's interest in my face paint was a picture from when we were in Montana that's the first one that I'm going to do for you guys today it's super easy obviously I'm gonna use all three colors like so and what's nice about this is you can make little thin lines or thick lines and with this i would um paint my neck as well i'm not going to today but you guys get the idea obviously as your neck is also a big blob unless you're going to put a face mask on your neck 
and then just paint your face. And this does not take a lot of time, like, you know, this is a pretty intricate design and it'll probably take me less than five minutes. It doesn't have to be perfect. I am literally doing this in a phone. Girls, you want to pick designs that like need to go over up here but aren't going to go straight across so it looks like you have a mustache obviously if you are wearing a beanie you'll need to do your forehead as well and then like I said I would do my neck in a real life situation and you want to use the majority so Majority of out there was green. Then add a little black if you want. And voila, just like that. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show you guys. So some of this isn't even dry yet, but I'm gonna show you how. It comes off super easy, just using regular, regular wipes from the store. But it will stay on, like I mentioned earlier. We have used this for the past two years Spot and stock in New Zealand, Montana, Nebraska, South Africa. A lot of sweat there. A lot of sweat there. And never had an issue whatsoever. If you're hunting bear, you could do bear paw prints if you wanted. You can do kitty paw prints. You can do whatever your little heart desires. If Halloween, you can make like a jack o' lantern. I've done that before. Put it on Halloween. All right. So just like that, next look will be just like an all, an all blind or an all black look. I have paint in my hair, hold on, you see it. Okay. So this one um, is pretty super easy. So obviously the point of, like I mentioned, face paint is to break your face up and kind of hard to do that with black so this one covers majority of your face really nice it's super easy especially with this applicator and these tubes last forever literally forever I think we've been using the same tube and we just went on a 30 day turkey hunt and used paint almost every day and on our faces and our hands twice a day both of us <laughs> so these tubes last a long time When I'm in a blind, I would wear my face mask on my neck. And 
And this does not make you break out either. This, these two fun little friends on my face are from Stress. Not from this face paint, as you can see, I put it all over my face and they'd be all over my face. So don't worry about that either. There we go, there's our blind look. How fun, right? Oh my God, so fun. You can add some to your chin or like right here if you want, um, but like ladies, uh, I don't wanna look like I have a man beard. <laughs> so there's our blind look. Super fun, super easy. We'll do our last one. If you guys have like fun ideas too, like definitely tag. You can either tag my Instagram, just Sarah underscore Bomar, or tag Bomar Bow Hunting. I love seeing. I'm done. I love seeing fun ideas because, like I said, I Google a lot, a lot on Pinterest. If you guys follow me there as well, you see like I have a whole board of face paint ideas because we hunt a lot and I get bored and I like to be creative. And sometimes, oh, well, when we were in, when we were in South Africa, we got so bored that we started playing tic-tac-toe in each other's arms with the face paint, so. It's great for that too. All right, my last look um, will be more like bark, kind of. So if you're sitting against a tree that doesn't have a lot of leaves, like I said, just know your surroundings. Obviously, if you are running and gunning, getting up, spot and stalk, those surroundings will always change. But if you know you're gonna be sitting by a dark tree or in a tree stand without any leaves, you obviously don't wanna have green on your face if there's no green around you. So this one, very similar to the first one, but we're just gonna do majority brown this time. I really like the diagonal. Um, you guys can certainly do straight across if you want. You could do polka dots. Sky is the limit on the face paint. I just like the zebra stripes. I don't know why, but I do. And I don't know how long I've been recording because I obviously can't see the timer, but if you guys see that this really doesn't take a ton of time. Majority of the time I'll just do it in the blind or once we get out to the tree because we get there really early and then I have something to do. And I know a lot of losers online are like, oh, you woke up so early to do that. Oh, did I? No, I value my sleep. Because of that, I got permanent makeup and quick face paint ideas. Life hack. That's another thing too, gentlemen, like if you're watching, you should be encouraging women to get out there in the blind and hunt with you or on the tree or whatever. And if they want to wake up early to do their make makeup or face paint, encourage it. Honey, you're beautiful, you don't need it, but if you want to do it, great. Now, if she's causing you to be late, then that's a different story, but I'm so sick of guys online like, ah, you need makeup to kill an animal. Hmm? My makeup didn't inhibit my abilities, so you can be quiet. There we go. Fun look. So, hope this helped you guys. Um, like I said, tag me in any of your fun ideas. Let me know below if you want to see me do any sort of design. Have any questions about anything that we use. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram. Do all this stuff. So, bye. Well, I thought I was done, and then Josh got upset that I didn't show you guys his design. So, this is for... The blind, pretty much the exact same as earlier, just a little different than the triangles, so. This is a good one too, if you are super tired. It covers up all your dark circles.
this when you just start at your smile lines? I think this one kind of makes me look like a football slash monkey. That's why I don't do it a lot, but... Very similar to the one earlier, but this is Josh's idea. And there you go. Okay, now I'm really done. Bye. Baby, I need you to really work on no. this. No. Well, where's the wipes to wipe it all off? There's a line you can use. Here's the line you use. As a nice, convenient applicator, I don't get it all over my